and Craig, the Lightning even up the series at one. Uh, they improved to 12 and 0 following a loss in the postseason since being swept by Columbus back in 2019. As for Nikita Kucherov, three more assists to add to his playoff leading point total. Has Kucherov put himself in the driver's seat in the Conn Smythe Trophy race? Oh, I think so, Jen. And, you know, last year he led the playoffs in scoring. And, you know, there's a lot of talk about Braden Point lasting to the third round because of size. Kucherov lasted to near the end of the second round based on a passport. Bottom line, he was one of the best players entering the draft. And the beautiful thing, and there are many beautiful things about Nikita Kucherov in the game, but he plays the game, nothing he does is predetermined, nothing. He reacts to what's going on in front of him, and then because his skill is so sublime, he can do things and understand where the opportunities are going to ensue, unlike so many other players. And when you watch him play and you watch him try to do things, he keeps opponents on their heels. He keeps them off balance because he doesn't know what he's going to do because he's going to wait to see what opportunities are going to be there. So how can defenders know what he's going to do? And he's just brilliant in being able to keep everybody off balance and be a top performer for his own team. Now, both teams had their issues with the officiating in this game. Tampa on Braden Point's goaltender interference call, and then New York with what they thought was too many men on the game-winning goal. So what did you think of these two controversial either calls or non-calls? Well, I mean, one was a call that was clearly the wrong call. That is not a penalty on Braden Point. He got shoved into Varlamov by uh, Adam Pellick. So there's no way. And then the Islanders go and score on the power play. So we understand that. Here's the play now, and there's the shove and the push. And there's no way Braden Point can avoid the goaltender. There's no way that's a penalty. It's a wrong call. And the Islanders score on the power play. Now, we can count all the players here on, on the ice for Tampa Bay, but the play's already in the offensive zone. And yes, Barry Trotz can show up the iPad and say, look at how many players were on. So here's what I would say. 1-1. One, one. That's how it gets evened out. The Islanders took advantage by scoring on the power play on a bad call against point. You can say that the Tampa Bay Lightning were able to score a goal because of a miss too many men on the ice. Well, guess what? John Cooper and Barry Trotz can do rock, paper, scissors to determine who the winner is because that just was a complete one goal for one side, one goal for the other side. I believe there was an entire Seinfeld episode on that called Even Steven. <laughs> uh, this series is now going to shift to New York for Game 3 on Thursday.